Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone tonight? And of course, my child wants to call while I'm streaming. It never fails. These kids just, they, they kill me. Watch this. Hello. Hi, I'm live on YouTube. <laughs> Talking to you on the phone. Okay, see you when you get here. Bye. She called to let me know she was on her way home. How loving is that? Hi, Shannon, Margaret. Welcome back. And Brent, <laughs> surfing Amazon. Cool. What you getting? Love Amazon. Love Amazon. I love Amazon. Amazon is awesome. Are you getting something for the new bathroom? For the remodel? How is everyone this evening? How is everyone? Oh my God, my stream health is still low. There's nothing I can do to get this darn thing to stream faster. Well, I actually thought about getting my son's laptop and using his. And hi, one Sequita D. Your wallet doesn't like Amazon, Ms. Margaret. Mine doesn't like Amazon either. However, I strongly encourage my wallet every single time to reconsider. So. <laughs> you say your asthma is oh your asthma is bad today is it the high is there a high heat index out there wherever you are because that will trigger asthma yeah miss baker yes 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 you see it oh. <laughs> yes the new machine is back here i'm so excited I know, I know, I know. I am very excited about it, you guys. I am um, trying to um, figure out how to incorporate the new machine in the videos because my, um, all my, everything for the most part so far about this channel has been with the 4x4. And my main thing is trying to make sure that you guys get the most out of your 4x4 machines as I have, and I'm going to continue to do so. And I may slip in something that I find really cool about the new machine um, as time goes on. I'm definitely going to do a review on it, uh, first impressions type review, uh, because it was really cool being able to take it out of the box. That was cool. And when I tell y'all, that was a ton of cardboard and styrofoam ton of cardboard and styrofoam but um i love every bit of it it's been really cool i've had it up and running several times within the last four days um have i purchased fast frames miss margaret when i tell you that lee's creative sewing and vacuums in charlotte north carolina lee's creative sewing and vacuums off Ray Road in Charlotte. They also have a satellite location in Hickory and also one in Shelby. They gave one heck of a deal. I got the machine. They threw in the stand that it sits on. They threw in the cap frame, cap driver frame, and they threw in the fast frames. So when I tell you you go see Mr. Uh, Barry. Mr. Barry was phenomenal. Barry or Jessica, both of them, hands down. Tell them I sent you. I told them I was going to shout them out on YouTube. Go see a heck of a deal, I'm trying to tell you. And up until recently, even brother had a $300 rebate on the machine. I can't remember how much longer that lasts. I, I don't, I'm positive it wasn't until the end of July but it was through July something, 20 something. And I don't remember what that is. I'm sorry. I think maybe the 25th, uh, but give them a call or go buy Lee's Creative Sewing and Vacuums. And if you Google them, the number will pop right up to all three locations. Heck of a deal. Cart, 
fast frames and cap driver and the machine. I just, I, I, that's why that, where is she? Where is she? That's why the machine's name is blessing. <laughs> She's her name is blessing, but she has been a blessing so far and it was a blessing to get her. So yes, go see them. Those guys are awesome. Oh, they are so awesome. And Miss Baker, when I tell you, Ooh, yes phenomenal machine it's been really cool it was funny because um you see them in videos all the time where people are making things on them um as a matter of fact miss candia uh, hainsworth she does a lot of videos um showing her doing projects on her machines and it's it's like one thing to see the machine you know in somebody else's video but to be standing there stitching out something that you're used to stitching out on the four by four machine. Oh my God. I thought it was going to take off and vibrate itself out the door. I mean, it was going lightning fast. I was like, Oh my God, can you believe this? A thousand stitches a minute is no joke to see it in person. I was like, wow. I mean, even my daughter was like, go machine, go. It was, kind of hilarious so but yes that is a very fast machine very fast machine yeah um i did have it up and going on instagram um i had a really big order to get out so i decided to jump in feet first and go ahead and get it working um and i had that machine two of the smaller machines and had i had sleep the night before because i had been up all night long trying to get that order completed um, because of being sick I, and, and because the guy kind of wanted it right away, I, um, uh, put myself under a deadline and I shouldn't have done that, but I did stayed up all night. I would have had even the other machine running, but I was like dog tired from sleep. And let me show y'all this. I was tripping when I got this open the box. Y'all oh, check this out. Look how thick this manual is. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying like. I'm going to have to read all of this, read every bit of it. I intend to because of the, I mean, this is just a phenomenal uh, opportunity and I really don't want to screw anything up. So I'll be reading that entire manual. And I was like, oh my God, this is the old school dictionary basically. So yes, Miss Baker, we are on track to get you one. We got to build up our business. We're going to do a lot of phenomenal things on four by four, give some great ideas. I've been requesting, uh, people have requested ideas of things to do. Um, Candia is excellent. I'm working with her on a couple of other things and we're going to try and definitely get, um, you guys some ideas to get out there and make some money so that we can build up our businesses and get bigger machines when the time comes. And miss, um, Sequita uh, Creations out of Cleveland, Ohio. Thank you for joining me today, Miss Shannon Margaret. Thank you for joining me today, um, Ethel Warren. Oh, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that, saying I'm deserving of it. One thing's for certain, it came at a phenomenal time. I am just eternally, eternally, eternally grateful for the opportunity to have the machine. And Minnesota, ooh, you up there where my honey was. Prince, oh, that's where he was up in Minnesota, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, Wisconsin, where the cheese is. Miss Market, I didn't know that. Cool beans. Living Doll, thank you for joining us today. Um, and, of course, back to Mr. Brent White. Always a pleasure to have you in here with us. And someone asked where everyone was from. I appreciate you doing that. Let's see. Uh, please do a review. I, again, yes, I will be doing that. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to post that, but I will be doing that soon. Um, who else we have in here? Hi, everybody, though. Edie from Chicago, Illinois. Girlfriend, you enjoy your time up there. Be careful, because there's been a lot going on up there. Um, intros, laughing out loud. Okay, now, now I get it. <laughs> Miss Chambers, thank you. Paula Chambers, welcome to our live view today. Living dollars in North Carolina. Girl, go get you one. I'm trying to tell you the deal. I'm trying to tell you. Go get that deal. Go get that deal. 
um you're a manual nerd and you love to read them wow well that's a lot of reading it, it could be worse though it actually could be worse and the, the the manual was actually very easy to follow so i will say that um there are a lot of uh other manufacturers of equipment out there they'll put out manuals and they're like you know not really detailed or they leave out steps now the instructions to put the stand together kind of reminds you of ikea where they just show pictures and point look arrows and they're like do this and um so it took me about two hours to get that that uh stand together but once i got the hang of where everything was supposed to go and what all they was trying to tell me it was okay it was cool we put it together it hadn't fallen apart thank god my husband came and double checked it so yeah the manual for that sucked but the manual for the machine has been awesome so far um uh, very detailed very uh descriptive with pictures and everything so yes you can if you're not necessarily a manual person like i am not i still found that i was able to follow the manual very well so for those who are interested in getting it and they're worried about not being able to learn how to use it um other than videos no you you can pick up on it through the manual um it has been requested of me to do videos on how to use the machine so eventually you may see videos of that caliber pop up um on the channel it won't be right away but you will see those videos pop up soon so um miss tina baker you say your neighbors to oh cleveland ohio yes yes that is a neighbor illinois and ohio and let's see what's with her here i can make some bags and my new baby miss margaret that's that's the plan that is the plan that is the plan and actually it's funny one of the things i've always wanted to do was in the hoop stuff you know and i ain't gonna lie seeing all the really cute in the hoop bibs now i love my bibs because i make them hand make my bibs i don't uh none of these are in the hoop at all but to be able to do in the hoop was like a dream dream come true so i'll be able to do in the hoop things funny it's a dream come true for me but not for my wallet because i happened to realize the other day now i'll be able to purchase larger embroidery designs so far i've been limited in my spending because i could only do four by four so now i can go bigger and it's like oh my god my husband is gonna kill me dead so i've, I've been good i haven't been on any more design sites lately Ooh, but the temptation is going to be there and it's going to be there soon so i feel feel bad for my wallet here shortly um sequita thank you i really appreciate that stephanie grams hey girl welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back i appreciate you guys coming in today appreciate it. sunday seems to be a good day so um that's why i was like let me try and get on sunday again and see how it works and see if we can't um do better angelique wasney sturger illinois I've never heard of sturger but welcome to the channel Miss Chambers is Hartford, Connecticut. Wow, you guys are all over the place. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Atia's Perfect Treasures. Love your videos. You inspire me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate hearing that because um, sometimes when you're doing videos, you kind of wonder if you really are beneficial to a wide variety of people. Um, that's the the, my goal is to cater to just about everybody and so far i have the most phenomenal team around me of people and one of the things that i want to foster in this channel is that we believe in each other you know because i've had just the most amazing experiences from the people around me including viewers and it's it's warmed my heart because you wouldn't think that a stranger clear across the country would give a darn about how I feel or what I do um, or care about what I'm trying to do for myself and that those people believe in me. And I want to reflect that back. I believe in each one of you, which is why I do what I do, um, why I'm making these videos, why I feel like, okay, if i just take it step by step you can do it too you definitely can do it too so 
I appreciate that feedback, um, knowing that the inspiration is there because that that's ultimately the goal. Um, I can download the ebook and read it on my e-reader. I did not think of that, Miss Margaret. I really didn't. So I'm gonna have to do that. Um, I'm not a manual person either, Miss Chambers. I understand. I love watching your training. You get so I do get <laughs> I do get excited because I'm just like I'm like oh my god, this is so cool. Yeah, I I. I feel it here. You know, I really love embroidery. I really do. So it's like really cool when you can see your, your creation come to life and it's, it's amazing. So, um, it's hard for me to control my emotions a lot of times. So that's part of the reason now it was requested that I video getting, bringing the machine home. And I thought about it, but I was like, I really didn't want the whole wide world seeing me do the ugly cry bringing that machine home, picking it up and all that stuff. I didn't want to do the ugly cry in the store. And those people looking at me like I'm crazy. You know, I got home. My dad helped me get the machine in. You know, I wasn't doing the ugly cry then because it was so daggum hot that day. I was pouring sweat and it was like, oh my God, I can't, you know. So I didn't do the ugly cry then. Got the machine in, we got it open, and just, at that point, I got excited, you know, opening up the boxes and seeing everything, and finally seeing all of the different things that I'll be able to do. And I, I don't want to keep going into it, but it was just like, oh my god, it was just so, so, so exciting. So um, I look forward to each one of you fulfilling your dreams. Please share them with me whenever you dreams. We want to celebrate each other. So if there's a, a goal that you've met or a new machine that you've gotten, feel free to share it with me. I'll give a shout out on the channel in the video and say, hey, guess what? Miss Carla Quayle from Missouri came in and she said she got a brand new blah, blah, blah. And I'll let everybody know. Shout it from the mountaintops because we want to celebrate each other. Give us a visual tour real quick until we get the video. I thought about it, Miss Baker. The only thing is this daggum camera. I'm using a webcam and I was looking at the, oh uh, gosh, where it plugs into the USB and that cord is short. So I'll have to do that when I can get a longer cord um, and can get it over. So that even though I might can move, I might can move the laptop and get it over there. Let me uh, check that here in a little bit and see if we can't do that because that is that actually was my original goal for today's video was to come on live and show you the machine live. But when I saw my cord was short, I was like, well, crap, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, anointed song. I do have a new machine. Yes, ma'am. I received a blessing. I sure did. I sure did. And I'll move over a little bit so that you can see her and not have all me in the middle of the camera. Yes, in the hoop. Yes, Miss Grams, you ain't lying. I'm, I'm sorry. And then, oh my God, you know, I, one of the things I considered doing with you guys um, was the, um, are you all familiar with well, the women, especially the Walmart, uh, oh God, it's a leatherish looking bag. It's like a purse, but it's not, it's more like a tote bag, a leatherish tote bag. And they're in solid colors. There's nothing on them. And it has like a magnetic closure, one little snap magnetic closure. A lot of people are embroidering on those, right? So I was considering getting one and trying to monogram it on the four by four machine. The only thing is we would have to, you know, take the seams apart at the sides and definitely one side, maybe even both, um, and embroider on it. That's that was one of my ta da reveal plans. I wasn't supposed to tell you, but that was one of the things I was considering doing. I don't have to now. Now I'll be able to do that on here. Now I'm not talking about for the tutorial for you guys. I will have to do that for you all. But for myself, I can just stick it on the machine. It was like, oh my God, I don't have to. Ah, I can just put it on the machine and possibly sell them. So I'm excited. I'm so super excited. Um, Go to Parker on the Porch Facebook. She has great bags. Okay, I'll definitely do that. Miss Grams, what brand is the new machine? It is a Brother ER655. Six Needle brother PR 655 and Miss Chambers. Yes, he is very good. He has actually been very good to me this week. So I am, um, grateful. 
I am very grateful. Miss Margaret says, Ohana spelling has in the hoop bibs. Okay, I'll check that. I'll check that. Um, I'm still scrolling, y'all. I have taught you so much in your story time, Carla Coyle. Thank you. Thank you. I, and I still have uh, some more story uh, to my story to tell because I know somebody asked about um, how I set up my business or decided to do my business with the pricing and everything. And I haven't even haven't even gotten into that yet. It's been like really crazy over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Brent said I'm upgrading and leaving us four by fours behind. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you what. Just like I said in a prior video, if for whatever reason, I'm telling y'all this, if for whatever reason you are able to upgrade to a newer machine or a bigger machine, do not get rid of your 4 by 4 machine. Please don't get rid of it. I mean, you have to understand that um, the, you have to understand that the basis of what you're doing now is 4 by 4 the, it's the more complicated things you can add in, but your basis will always be there. So the four by four machine can be whatever backup workhorse um, you can do for the smaller projects and the larger, more complicated projects can go on the larger machine. Don't ever get rid of your four by four. A lot of people do that. They're like, oh, well, I got this new machine, so I can get rid of that one. No, don't don't get rid of the baby the baby is dependable too. So, you know, use it for the smaller projects or, you know, to run too. Cause I like in my, um, Instagram video, I had all three going, um, and should have had all four. Actually, I should have had all four, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, don't, I'm not leaving four by four behind at all. Definitely. You better believe that. Um, the baby Cubanita. Hi, if I'm using a wireless connection, which I am because I don't have, um cable out in my shop my shop is detached from my home so i yes i am depending on wireless and it says the solution is get a wireless network repeater that way the connection is stronger i love your channel by the way thank you and thank you for the suggestion um i have a wireless repeater the kids lost it i asked them today earlier today i'm like where is my repeater I, we don't know oh my god are you serious serious right now so yes i do need to find it um and when i do i'm gonna do one or two things i'm either gonna use the repeater get another one or have cable run out here so more fees and stuff but we'll figure it out we have to have each other's back yes we do miss chambers you started doing embroidery a year ago so yes i did too not a year i was i'm right i'm actually come september it'll be two years that i've been doing embroidery so we definitely, you know, the beginning stages of it and everything that I'm able to do that I find really super exciting, <clears throat> which is why I'm willing to share and say, hey, guess what I can do? You can do it too. So I do definitely appreciate you all tuning in. Um, Miss Warren says we're a different breed of people. We just love to connect. Yes. Yes, we do. And I appreciate that we have to we have as mr uh brent said we have to have each other's back it's and and it's only it only makes sense because you're we're all doing the same thing we're interested in the same things so why not collaborate with each other why not share ideas why not bounce um things off of each other what good is knowledge if you don't share it with others you know I'm sorry, knowledge is free. So why not share that knowledge? And yes, it would be nice to make money, um, you know, have extra income or whatever you have it. But if there's knowledge, I don't mind giving knowledge. So Miss Margaret says, we love you because you're genuine and tell it straight. I've only met a handful of people like that. I am not the type of person to fabricate anything. I don't believe in lying. Um, I'm not a liar, can't stand a liar. So yeah, I'm gonna tell it like it is because that's the way I prefer people to do for me. You know, don't you don't have to sugarcoat and spare feelings. If it's the truth, it's the truth. And I don't mind that. So um Miss Kim Nitz, welcome. I didn't see your name up earlier. Love your tutorials, really has helped me and I've learned a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. Definitely trying my best to make sure we all learn from each other. 
um, Miss Dorothy Brown, you finally caught me. <laughs> Welcome to the live uh, streaming today. Love what you do. Thank you. Ariel Polite, I appreciate you tuning in as well. Happy for you. Charlene Mitchell, hi. <laughs> Welcome to the channel today. Carla says, he, he said my name right. Congrats. Most people don't get it. <laughs> I, I'm, my dad taught me to be really particular about pronouncing people's names. And, you know, it's, that's a pet peeve. I try and, you know, go with the pronunciation. I'm sure it probably is. But sometimes I do put my foot in my mouth. Sharon Blake says, Chapel Hill, Tennessee. All right. Are you going to be at the um, Everything Embroidery Conference in Chattanooga? The Tennessee. So hopefully you will be able to attend because I do intend to be there, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Marilyn Sullivan viewing from Greenville. Oh my goodness, girl, I just left there. Enjoy your videos. I was in Greenville last weekend or weekend before. I was down there in your lovely, lovely city enjoying every bit of it. They're reversible. Shut the front door. Are you serious? I did not know that. Oh my God. I know I gotta go get one now. Mm, that Walmart bag. I knew it was bad. I knew it was bad. I just, I have to have one. And what makes it so bad, I wanna get one and don't know what in the world I'm gonna put on it. Because I don't want a monogram. You know, to me, monogram is just so, you know, everybody monogram. So I don't want to monogram, but I, I might just do that anyway. George Brand, I've done the Walmart bag. You don't have to take it apart. We might have to get together on something, Miss Margaret. Go uh, do a video with you doing yours. You know, we can do a video together. I don't mind that at all. Um, Tina Baker says, that was me. That was you? I'm lost. Don't pay me no attention, but I'm reading your comment, so... <laughs> No, you're going to need the 4x4 too. Yes. Oh, yeah. We were talking about the um, getting rid of the machines. Yes, you will need it. Uh, brother SE350, way behind. No, you are not. Not at all. Because um, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Because uh, what you have to understand is they all do the same thing. They really do. Um, there may be a couple of extra features there that... I'm not aware of the difference between the 350 and the 4, 425, but I doubt is that much of a difference. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually have the SE400 too. So I doubt there's that much of a difference. Um, the thing is, does it work? And you get your stuff on there and you get your embroidery done. So trust me, I relish every bit of the equipment that I, the equipment that I have. I have a brother PE770 I bought from my mama. Oh man, mama came through. I am addicted. Yes. And you know what? I found a 770 local um someone is selling and I'm considering getting it because they're they're talking about dirt cheap. I mean like way under five hundred dollars. So I might 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 get it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to part with that money just yet. I have a brother, Innovis 2500D, love it dearly. Yes, ma'am. Dorothy Brown says, when am I coming to Mississippi? Girlfriend. Um, <laughs> Mississippi, Mississippi, Mississippi. Actually, well, I don't know, because I was considering flying. So I was considering going to Texas. Um, I believe it's Houston area. And if I go to Texas, if I drive, then I will be coming through that way. Um, and I will definitely try and find a location where I can, oops, sorry about that, where I can get with some folks as I travel. I do definitely want to do like a, not a conference, but a get together in certain areas. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, but a lot of it is going to depend on the viewers and who all is interested. I mean, we're knocking on the door at 1600 subscribers. That doesn't mean that everybody wants to get together. You know, some folks might be like, mm, we're just subscribed. We don't want to deal with you like that. So, and that's cool. Um, but I think it would be neat to meet, meet up with people. So, and I'm also trying to keep an ear to the ground for all the different embroidery conferences. Um, I had considered offering to teach at the embroidery conferences. I kind of chickened out and I may still pursue that. And if I do, then I'll probably be traveling with them and, and, whoops, excuse me, and teaching in those different areas. 
I can go on PE Brother Facebook group and they have videos and liners for the Walmart bag. I started to bust out into the Aladdin song and, and crow in y'all's ear. And I know you really didn't want to hear that. A whole new world, y'all. I'm trying to tell you this is a whole new world. Miss Yates. Hey, girl. Oh, my goodness. Hi. You just got out the kitchen. Who got you in the kitchen? It's Sunday. You're supposed to not be in. Well, no, a lot of people be in the kitchen cooking on Sunday. I'm not. I wasn't cooking today. I was, I've was. i been tired and working really hard. So I'm glad you got out the kitchen. I hope it was good, girl. What would you fix for dinner? And I hope dessert was good, too. <laughs> to be just now getting out the kitchen. Well, no, you're probably some hours behind me. I'm not sure where you are. I'm going to have 12 machines before long and going to get taken. No, you know what's cool, y'all? I was floored. The first time I embroidered something with that machine, right, the PE, 655. I put in a design that I normally do on the smaller machine just because uh matter of fact the only thing I have embroidered on there is four by four. I haven't um branched out to the larger hoops yet. I hadn't gotten that brave yet. But while it was embroidering, you know that darn thing stopped, cut the threads, and then jump did the jump as if it was doing a jump stitch and started back embroidering again. I was like, Low it, have mercy. This thing cuts its own jump stitches. Now, if that ain't technology, I don't know what it is because I was not expecting that. So that's very cool. I don't have jump stitches, very, very few jump stitches. And I was tickled pink because I am very particular about jump stitches. Even the little itty bitty teeny ones in between letters, I'm bad about going in and, man, I ain't having barely i think it was like two little teeny itty bitty jump stitches and that was it it cut all of them now i don't know if because this is like the newest newest model of the p655 so i don't know pr sorry 655 i don't know if the older ones do the jump stitches or not but that was like hands down the best um part of that machine surprise off of the machine that i came across so yeah that it really was awesome it really was awesome to see that so but yeah i'm looking forward to doing um more things on it with you all um or doing videos on it um but i do definitely have some excellent things on uh the list for the 4x4 coming up um i was considering doing more videos uh the, the tutorials pre-recorded tutorials during the week those are kind of you know difficult to uh because the video editing is time consuming i thought about hiring somebody to do the video editing but i'm kind of like anal a little bit so if i can find someone to video edit then i'll be able to put out more videos but for the time being i haven't really been able to so and then this week for whatever reason everybody wants work done so i have uh, i just finished uh, four shirts, eight pair of shorts. I have a baby set to do with a blanket, two bibs, two binky leashes for that set. Then I have two baby blankets that I need to do. Um, one big throw blanket that I need to do. I have two shirts with business logos that I need to do. I have six shirts with a business logo that I need to do. Um, where there's a logo up top and then um, wording down on the side of the shirt. I have five hats that I need to do. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and I have a couple of visors that I need to. So I have a whole lot uh, planned um, that I need to get done. And so this week is going to be pretty packed. So fortunately, I've already um recorded a couple of videos so i just need to finalize the editing and get them uploaded so it's good to know what to look for with your new machine yes have i found bigger stabilizer for my bigger hoops yet miss margaret now okay i'm glad you brought that up i knew because of common sense right I knew with the bigger machine, I would have bigger hoops and I would need bigger stabilizer. I mean, that's common sense, right? So I 
already told myself that, of course, it is better to use the bigger spools of thread. I have, uh, as you see, a board full of these spools. So I was like, okay, I'm using these um, on that machine, which they work perfectly fine on the bigger machine. So if that's a question that you have, these smaller spools, yes, they work really well with the bigger machine. Um, I do have a couple of extra large spools anyway, um, but that was because I was initially going to use them as bobbin thread, decided not to. So I have some larger spools and there's a black large spool on that machine right there. Um, so I knew there was going to be more expense incurred, right? So let me see if I can grab this. I'm in my PJ shirt. So I went to Lee's um, because when I brought my machine home, I neglected to get the fast frames that they threw in with the machine. So I went back to get the fast frames. And while I was there, the lady was like, well, um, with those fast frames, you use sticky back stabilizer. Now, y'all know I am not really a fan of sticky back stabilizer because it comes up the needles. Well, Mr. Uh, Barry told me that the stabilizer he sells is industrial stabilizer. So therefore, it does not gum up the needles. It's excellent quality. It's very strong and it works really well. They don't ever have any complaints about it. Right? I was like, cool beans. Where's this stabilizer? So he hands me the super jumbo roll of stabilizer, which is cool. I, you know, I don't have any problems with the super Jumbo roll of stabilizer. It is 12 inches by 25 um, yards of sticky back stabilizer to use with it. And uh, it's supposed to be the best of the best of the best. And I was like, cool, okay, I'll get it. And he says, okay, here you are. And he handed it to me. I just so happen to see the price. You see that price? I know you can see it because I see it in my screen. $95. And I was like, I'm used to paying 10 on Amazon. But I said to myself, I'm in the big girl leagues. So I need to put on my big girl pennies and pay for the best so that I can use my machine in the best way possible. So I am hoping that this is going to last me a really long time. <laughs> Which he said it would. He said it should last me a long time. Um, but he said it is the best that's out there. So if you are um, ever in Charlotte area um, or if you, I think, I don't know if you can order this online or not, but Lee's Creative Sewing and Vacuums, they have this and supposedly it's the best of the best. So, you know, I was like, okay, that was a, an awakening. Like, yeah, I'm really going to have to start paying attention to all the things that I'm going to add. And there's also a couple of hoops that I really, really, really want for that machine because I do want to do like tennis shoes on that machine. And the tennis shoes uh, hoop is, there's a set that it comes with um, of this particular hoop. And it's a clamp hoop that they demonstrated for me in another store. And that clamp hoop, the set that I'm looking at is $500. So um, you know, there's some, there's some costs incurred with the larger machine, some larger expenses. Um, if you wanted to, you can, like I said, go with the larger spools of thread. Um, so you'll be paying a whole lot more for thread. If you went that route, I choose not to, unless like your, my primary colors. Yes. I'll be getting larger spools of my primary colors that I use a lot, like my baby pinks and my, my Tar Heel baby blue. Um, my red, I already have black. I'll be getting a large spool of white. So those primary colors, yes, I'm most likely will be investing in the larger spools. Once I, once I use these, of course, not, not like right now, it's not necessary, but, um, Miss JD, hi, gosh, I'm glad you made it. Welcome. Welcome. Um, so yeah, Miss Margaret, it says I can find wide and longer spools on Etsy about my 12 by 150 yards of tearaway for $30. We will be looking at that because I wanted to cry a little. As a matter of fact, I did cry a little inside, but it's okay because I received 
uh, unexpected monetary blessing that more that covered that. So it just it kind of worked. It's the same. That matter of fact, I left the store, went around down the road and around the corner to a different store to get my T-shirts done, and come across and and while I'm standing there finalizing the deal from the T-shirts, I get a text message with money. So I was like, it just like I told y'all, this past week has been phenomenal with blessing. So that's why her name is blessing. One of the reasons why her, her main reason is that's not why, but her name is blessing. So, um, Miss Baker, Miss E being so limited on the designs for my machine, unless I buy cartridges, is there another way to get additional designs? Um, okay. With the, if you use the brother cartridges, there is an adapter on eBay. If, if I'm thinking this through correctly, there's a uh, adapter on eBay that you can buy. Just do brother and the model of your machine and say cartridge, right? And it's an adapter that you plug into your laptop and it comes with a blank cartridge. I think the price was like $100 and you can drag any designs that you want and put them on that cartridge and load them into your machine. Um, they did come up with a way where you can use your own cartridge you know, and put your own designs on it. But, you know, it's a little pricey, um, $100 for it, unless you can find one used or maybe somebody put a used one on eBay just to get rid of it. Um, but from what I understand, that is another way to do your own cartridge. So Miss Chambers says good price for that stabilizer. Yeah, he, he was pretty adamant about letting me know it was the best of the best. So um, I'm, I'm sure it'll serve me well. Um, nothing they have told me yet has proved to be you know, anything other than. So I'm really excited about using it. Um, I just haven't worked up the nerve to do the fast frame shit. I was going to do that tonight while I was in here. Um, no use tear away with the glue stick. I saw that today. Um, I saw that today. I saw somebody do that today on a video because my concern was, um, what I was told with those fast frames was that when you use them now, the machine, the frames that come with the brother machine. Um, once you put the frame on the machine, there are sensors built into the machine that knows what frame you're using with it. So it automatically knows not to go outside the parameters of the frame that's attached to it. But the fast frames, uh, which are of course different from your regular frames, those fast frames, the machine doesn't know that that's what's attached to the machine. So it, it'll go outside the parameters and then the needle will hit the side of the fast frame and break. So I was a little concerned and hesitant about using the fast frames just yet until I got the, the method down on how to use it and I looked it up. So it's like, now I know how to use it. Um, and the thing told me that my uh, stream was jacked up. So hopefully it didn't mess up too bad. But um, now that I have that down pat, I just I needed to know to make sure the measurements and how to figure that part out. Now that I know, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. And I was going to do that tonight um, after the video. So we'll see how that goes. So Miss Blake said, Mid-South showing, sewing, whoo, child, Mid-South sewing in Murfreesboro, Tennessee does have people in for teaching. Um, my Lee's Creative Sewing and Vacuum, they have a class I will be attending Tuesday. So, um, fortunately Tuesday is not technically a live video day because I'll be in class, um, learning about the machine. Um, or if anyone here have any for purchase, that's true. Yeah. Miss Baker. I mean, because, uh, there are instances where, oh, and also I think you're in embroidery boss. If you're in the embroidery boss group, put, put the word out there, ask if anybody has one that they're not using. You, you'd be surprised. You, you might could come across one there. Um, I can do a tennis shoe tongue on the smaller fast frame hoop. I did hear about that. Um, I am interested in the side of the shoe. Um, those leather type shoes, not the like converse. Even, even though my daughter is a converse nut, um, I'll probably be doing some converse for her, but the leather shoe is what I'm trying to with so we'll see if that works and you're talking about breeze basement i'll have to write that down and see what breeze basement is about breeze basement okay 
I will do that. Um, on Etsy, does it have a USB cord? You are you asking Miss Baker? Miss Baker says that um, uh, it does not. Her machine is strictly um card only. So yeah, just cartridges. So her machine um her machine doesn't have the if you take a look here hers just has this it doesn't have the usb connection so she can only get designs on there with that which i think um back in the day at the time brother was just doing that you know of course for financial gain um because if you could attach a cord then you could buy designs from somewhere else instead of just buying cartridges so fortunately they've expanded way past that now and you can use the cord and just upload any design that you want to um the machine and miss paulette lee hi welcome better late than never you know i'm agreement in agreement with that so yes thank you and welcome to our live stream tonight it's just getting a I hope it didn't. Okay, it's showing reconnected. Stupid thing. I don't know why this is wanting to get on my nerves tonight, y'all. I promise you, I, as soon as I can, we getting this fixed. But um, Designs by Little B is awesome. She's definitely awesome. Um, because she, her designs are of a excellent quality. Actually, Designs by Little B is good. Um... Oh gosh, what is her name? Bugalina. Bugalina Designs is excellent as well. She has a ton of snap tabs. Snap tabs. Can you tell I'm getting old? I'll be forgetting the names and stuff. Both of them have excellent snap tabs. Bugalina has a huge plethora of snap tabs. I love both of them. I buy both of their stuff. So if you are ever um you know in the market to try some snap tabs, to try some felties. Um, definitely check out Designs by Little B and Bugalino. You know, that I'm not getting paid to tell y'all that. I I'm, I'm promise you, I tell you because I love them. I love their stuff. So if I love you, love them and love how it turns out, I'm going to tell y'all about it so that you can avoid problems from some of the lesser desirable folks. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry, Miss Baker. We I'm back online. And Marianne Reddick, hi, welcome. Welcome. I know I'm back on. <laughs> I'm back online. Um, designs by Juju. Yes. Um, she has awesome fonts. I love her fonts as well. Um, as well as Stitchtopia. Stitchtopia has the more flourishy, flowy, the really pretty girly fonts that I love to death. Designs by Juju has excellent fonts as well. Um, and yes, snap tabs are very fun and very quick to do. Um, I did this one the other day for my daughter-in-law. Very simple design, not much to it. I used the glitter vinyl from Mikri Designs. Um, I'm sorry, MikriWorld.com uh, and affordable vinyl. It, it doesn't take much to put these little things together. I promise you it doesn't. Um, appliques. I am not an applique person. So... Um, I haven't really tried any of her appliques. Now, I am going to do a video on appliques. As a matter of fact, I bought the one already that I'm going to do in the video. But until I do it, I'm just, I don't like applique. I know that sounds horrible, but I'm just not a fan of it. Now, actually, I think if I could figure out the um, Cricut machine, because I do have a Cricut, if I can figure that out to cut out the applique design beforehand and get it in the design and everything stitches out like it's supposed to, I'm sure it'll probably be fun then. But cutting that stuff out is a pain in the rear that I don't. And then my hands. Why is it telling me offline? I promise y'all this is getting on my nerves. But my hands are bad um, with arthritis. So I don't like, you know, taking the time and doing all that cutting out either. So. They are cute on baby stuff. They are cute. Um, especially if you have the really cute fabric and you're matching. Yes, it's totally adorable. But to do the applique, that's where I'm just like, you know what? There are far too many other things out there in the world that I can do that won't get on my nerves. So that's why I choose not to really do 
very much applicate at all, actually. So, um, but to each his own, I will be doing a video on it, however. Uh, and if I can figure out the cricket, then I can probably ease in a video on doing that as well. But that, again, that's learning something else. And I got a whole, whoops, wrong side, whole big old toy that I got to figure out. So um, I'll be focusing on that for the next couple of weeks, definitely, because I want to get this machine down pat. I want to know everything it is about it for me to do so that I can um, do the videos on it. Because I don't want to do videos on something I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. That's just not my style. Um, Janie says she started off doing applique, then moved to doing embroidery. Most people do, actually. Um, most people, when they get into embroidery, they start off with because there is just something about the baby stuff. The baby stuff is what um, people look to do. So that's understandable. Definitely understandable. So it is 8.50 as well. Are there any parting requests or parting comments you would like to make? Because especially with as retarded as my... Um, stream is going it's saying offline again yeah it's telling me it's offline again uh off and on and i don't want to keep torturing y'all so um i'm gonna go ahead and log off in nine minutes um sequita says you could help with cricket you also do htv okay i will um see about getting with you now i can't uh promise it'll be this week because uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm like really, 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 really slammed with stuff this week. Um, but I will put it in the plans to get with you and we'll see about doing a collaboration. Now, I think that would be cool. So if there's something that um, you would like to showcase on this channel, I have no problem collaborating with the viewers. I mean, why wouldn't I? you have expert areas that you're experts in that I may not be showcasing. And the thing about this channel is sharing your knowledge. So if you have knowledge that you would like to share, get with me, we can talk about it and see if it fits what we're doing, which I'm sure it will, otherwise you wouldn't really suggest it. And we'll work on getting a video put together to put out here on the channel for everybody to see. I don't mind doing that at all. Um, you said it sounds like what you should be doing. You're talking about applique. Applique is, um, especially if you're doing baby stuff, um, it's especially awesome for baby things. Um, that's what the majority of the applique I've ever seen is for, is for the baby stuff. So, um, But yeah, you guys let me know if you have something that you would like to showcase on the channel and we'll definitely um work on getting you some videos in and you can share in videos with me have i done the baby blanket yet i'm not sure let's see i haven't done a baby blanket in a while so nine times out of ten whatever blanket it is you're asking about i have not done it yet lord help me i haven't done it yet i need to i need to so ray danae designs oh i love that name hi ray danae welcome to the channel um, and I appreciate you being happy for me. I, I really do appreciate that because, um, again, the support system is amazing. It's phenomenal. Uh, but Miss Hamilton, to answer your question, I don't think I have. I'll probably be doing that tonight um, because I have a couple of things that I really wanted to get done before tomorrow and tired of putting stuff off. So yeah so it's a trip but yeah good night everyone i really appreciate you tuning in because i do definitely enjoy sharing this information i have some merch coming out um merchandise that is we're looking at um a particular t-shirt um i'm also looking at a particular seam ripper for the baby's booty manufactured expressly for the baby's booty um, and coffee mugs, actually, that should say happy embroidering on it. So um, those are some things that I'm trying to put together for you guys, for the fans of the channel and for our channel. Um, so if you're interested, let me know. The seam rippers are being made. They're being handmade for us. So uh, initially, they'll be limited a little bit. 
Um, but we're definitely getting those on tap and I'm quite excited about it. Um, the mugs, of course, are simple to get. So we'll have plenty of that. The t-shirts, um, we'll have plenty of those available. Um, even though the t-shirts will be made to order. So it may be like a week before they're ready to be shipped out. Not sure yet. I'm ironing out the information on that. I will be ironing out the information on that tomorrow. You know, so I'm excited about it. And it's your girl's middle names. Oh, that's cool, right? That was pretty. That's pretty. My son um, has a family name and Ray is part of his family name. So, and you said it's the simple stuff because you're so new to the group. You're new, but not too terribly new, Miss Baker. There's a ton of folks that's kicking off in embroidery too. So don't feel too terribly new. We're, you're, you're doing great. I enjoy the interactions with you. I appreciate the interactions with you. Um, so I really appreciate everyone tuning in and good night to everyone. Um, again, I appreciate the support. I look forward to seeing you guys every time you come in on live channels. I apologize for the live stream being trash again. Um, I did have my computer service, so it obviously is running better than it's been the last couple of times, but I think my um, doing this wireless is what's causing the biggest problem. I'm going to have to either hardwire or get the repeater as was suggested because I just, I can't deal with it. Y'all, I'm, I don't like trash, um, embroidery. I don't like screwing up embroidery. So, you know, this is irritating to me when my channel stream isn't wanting to stream like it's supposed to. So you're in embroidery, Victoria. Oh, hey, Victoria. Okay, cool. Cool. And hi, Miss Sharon Blake. You're welcome. Ms. Paulette Lee, thank you. I appreciate you loving the channel. The channel is for you guys. That's what it's here for. It's not for me. It's for you all. So thank you for being here. Um, I look forward to um, collaborating more with you all. I promise if you have an idea of something you would like to share with everyone else, like I said, let me know. Please let me know and I'll be more than happy. We'll do some videos. Um, and if you have any questions, as always, please feel free. You can shoot me an email at the at gmail.com. Or if you're in the embroidery boss group, you can reach out to me at any time and leave a message. If you're not in the embroidery boss group, but you're in this channel, um, and you do embroidery as a very serious hobby or as a business, you are free to apply to join the embroidery boss group on Facebook. Also, I am on Instagram under The Baby's Booty. I am also on Facebook. I have Facebook page, The Baby's Booty. You guys are free to reach out to me there. And uh, if you need to contact me, uh, YouTube has messaging feature, or you can email me, thebabiesbooty at gmail.com. So again, thank you so very much for tuning in tonight. If you have um, a wonderful night, idea for uh something that you would like to see embroidered give me a shout let me know uh so we'll definitely get that on tap for another video all right well you guys have a great sunday night thank you for joining us all and of course as you know the most important thing that i would like for you all to have is happy embroidering so until the next time you guys have an excellent night and we'll see you later bye